Hello YouTube and welcome to the next text loss video with a brand new Lenovo Yoga Book. Uh, this is a Windows version and it's a high-end Windows version with LTE. So we start our setup video by grabbing the SIM card tray tool, locating the SIM card on the left side of the device, opening this up and then we insert not just our nano SIM card into the uh, slot where the corner left side up chip down there this fits but also we take our 200 gigabyte micro SD card and insert it as well and check out if the device can handle 200 gigabyte storage cards and I would assume yes no problem at all so we insert it now let's open it up locate the boot button on the right side or the on off button push it push it push it keep pushing it and now we wait for the boot screen there we go screen brightens up there we see the lenovo logo logo and now we wait so now let's select our language let's choose english there we go uh, what's your home country no not united states but let's select germany Here's the legal stuff. Yes, there is. And of course, I, I mean, why? Why, guys? No one will ever read this stuff. Let's get connected. Uh, it already recognized our SIM card. We got a Wi-Fi connection, but I'm at home, so I won't skip this step and use cellular data. No, I use my Wi-Fi at home and log in. And now I can use uh, w uh, WPS or let's see if I can now also use the screen, uh, lose use. Did I, where did the screen go? Oh, I hit the on off button on the side. So let's see. Yes, there's our mouse and now I could enter. Yes, now going fast. Now you can so just use Microsoft selected uh, settings or you can say customize and then select all the points you want to use, you don't want to use, you want to give data to Microsoft, you don't want to use data to Microsoft. I now uh, will just use the Microsoft Express settings to uh, get the started here, but I really, really urge you to, to read through those couple of settings pages and do what you want. Send, uh, use Cortana, don't use Cortana, and be aware what you are sharing with Microsoft and uh, what you don't. So it took a quick reboot and now who owns this PC? My work or school owns it or I own it. So I own it. Now we come to the, I assume, now we go to the Microsoft account. Yes, no account, create one. If you want to log in to get your, um, use Microsoft, use Skype things and also use the App Store from Microsoft. It's exactly the same as on a Google or or an Apple device, but you can also now say, no, I want to skip this step. This is now easily uh, with the brand new update because now you don't only have to give your PC one name. Let's see, uh, make it secure. You can enter a password, but you don't have to. So we can skip this as well. So you can log in with your Microsoft account or create a new one or don't use one at all. Now comes the question to use Cortana, yes or no. So, and there we are. Now we got a couple of things to have, we have to try out. First of all, the trackpad, of course. We got our normal, you can see there our mouse uh, cursor. And now I'll see right click. Yes, works and left click should work as well. Let's see. Yes, no problem at all. Or I can just tap on the, on the trackpad here. Now let's find out system. I want to see how much free storage we got. So storage we got, there we go. This PC, 21.4 gigabyte used out of uh, 58.2. That's roughly, let's do the math. We only got around less, less than 37 gigabytes of free storage. This is not that much. So 37, let's put some standard apps on them. So we got around 35 megabytes of free storage. Uh, good news is that our 200 gigabytes uh, micro SD card storage is, uh, card was also recognized, of course, so no problems there. So s slow stuff you can just put on the micro SD card and you still got enough 
uh, to to use the device with the normal standard apps. And I don't forget, we only got here uh, an Intel Atom inside. So you don't will do heavy video editing or even normal photo editing. I still don't think the Lenovo Yoga Book will be uh, a main machine. No, it's an additional on-the-go machine for, for light usage. With a long battery life. Oh, what about the battery life? Let's see what we got here. We got battery is fully, not fully charged, but at 17, 97%. And uh, the battery, the time is now only four and a half hours. I expect this is just because of the setup process, which took a little bit heavy load of, out of the battery life. This will now adjust. And I would guess, I would assume we should get around, even on the Windows version, somewhere between 7 to 10 to 11 hours under normal everyday usage with, with on screen side. Uh, at the time and now the question about the brightness settings. We got it was set to 40%, 50%, 75 and 100%. Uh, let's see, check out the screen. Sorry for that. No, I re again closed it. No percentage. Ah, there we go, 25. Now we are back again in the game. Ah, zero percentage. So still, even on zero percentage, it's, you can see still see something. No, now we got 96% in and seven and a half hours. So the time will go up. But I wanted to check out the display with 100% of brightness level. Yes, there are still reflections on the screen, but compared to other devices, I would guess uh, outside with 100% brightness settings, you will still be able to read something. I really have to say the screen looks nice, really nice looking screen at first sight. Definitely, definitely. So we got tablet mode, so all the normal stuff we can do here, tablet mode on, tablet mode off, we can still switch the device around, get the screen keyboard started here. Let's turn off tablet mode. And why is the keyboard mode not automatically added? Ah, I have to switch between the pen mode and the keyboard mode, easily with that button here. And what else do we want to check out? Which programs are pre-installed? Let's see, let's get started. Maybe you can read this here. Uh, Notepad, we got Paint, 3D Builder, Calculator, Excel, Mobile. Of course, the Start Office is on there. One Note, One Drive. Uh, but I can't see Xbox. No, but we can't. We don't have any spam installed on the device. Or, uh, let's don't call it spam, but pre-installed software of any kind. No, only the normal Microsoft stuff. And uh, let's start a little bit of typing here, uh, just to. No, it didn't recognize the T to test out the keyboard. Yes, definitely have to take some some using uh, usage to to type on it. Oh, and one thing you recognize here, uh, it's a German. Quartz keyboard layout. I have set the language to English. So now if you hit the Z button or Z button, you get a Y and Y is now a Z. So this is uh, as I said, this is totally normal here. The color, the keys won't change. So the layout on the surface here won't change if you change the layout on the settings. This would be a cool, a really cool feature, but no, this key layout is fixed. So let's try something out. What about, ooh, exactly, we got the yoga book. Of course, I will check out the performance, battery life and all the normal stuff here. What about now 100% of brightness? We have to see a new step here. Uh, let's check out what about uh, writing on the device. Now, on the Windows version, the main writing tool or sketch tool is we got sticky notes, we got sketch pad and all the stuff, but the main tool is OneNote. So let's start one note, get our pen, open up a new note, and then just start drawing. I here got the stylus, uh, the stylus version, which I now can draw and paint on the on the screen, but which the recognizing uh, recognition software is not that okay. No, 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 this note writing on here. Yes, you can take some notes or underline if you got some text or so. But writing as on a Surface, for example, as on a Microsoft Surface device is way, 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 way better than, than on the Lenovo, uh, I have to say, after, after just a couple of, of, of uh, seconds of using it. 
So let's undo this stuff. But where the Lenovo Yoga Book is really, really good at is we are now using the drawing feature here. Let's see. Let's put this flat on the table so that you can see both table or both yoga parts. Um, let's get the surface from the from uh, not the surface. Let's get the S Pen of the Android version. I've already switched from the stylus to the to the writing to the normal pen tip here. Um, and now if I start taking notes, for example, here, let's say Hello, this is just a test. There you can see this is now, of course, I, <laughs> I started too high here, but this looks exactly the same uh, as the version I just wrote down on paper. And this is really, really nice and neat. Now, the only question is, are you really going to use this? Is this a note-taking machine for you? If you are right-handed, you put the screen on the left side and you just normally write. If, you, if you're lefty, you just turn it around. No problems here at all. And now the question, now, um, because you can't move anywhere. If I would now, for example, start taking notes, maybe here, let's say, 1, A, 2, B, 3, C, and so on. Then I start start drawing something. I have no idea what I'm now doing. Oh man, okay, just for a quick reference. So the pen recognition here is really fantastic. This is really nice made, but I am still skeptical if that there's any practical usage. Now assume you're now got this page full here. You have to switch to the next page. Maybe you, you scroll down or you hit it. Yes, you do, exactly, you scroll down. Or, and now you take the next page and then you are saying, okay, and now, or you're taking notes. You are, or this is, this is not a blank sheet of paper. Maybe you're taking notes on a PDF file or, or whatever. And now you're on the second page and now you're thinking, oh wait, I forgot something, I have to go back. Now you're scrolling back, then you have to place exactly somewhere on a feeling. And now you want to circle your drawing, maybe for example. Now it gets a little bit problematic because if you go, reach with a tip to the surface, you don't have to, to, to touch it yet, then you will see your, your digitized version. This is nice and helpful, but you always have to check, are you now at the same spot you were previous where now for example the three am i on the same spot let's draw the three again no i'm not this is a thing that goes a little bit tricky so if you want to undo or adjust or change your notes not so good just if you want to take fresh new notes with a pen on a paper then the surface uh, concept is something i would really look into so but uh, this is it so just a first click look at the device so we got our normal windows button here everything is the same and i really have to say uh, until now the everything runs smoothly uh, i'm really surprised about this intel atom combination i really would have expected that uh, it would be more laggy or it would take more time but no of course it's now a brand new setup it's fresh out of the box of course it's fast let's test it a couple of days and then see how it goes. But this is it. This is just the first look at the Windows Lenovo Yoga Book version. Thank you guys for watching and I see you all in the next video. And if you've got questions, write them down. Uh, bye.